Ah, may adlaw na itong tanan. Are you a senior or somebody who complains about pain or body aches upon waking up and it is so difficult for you to move around, especially early in the morning and like I said, when you wake up? Well, look no further. In this video, I'm going to show you six essential stretches that you can do from the comfort of your bed. And whether you are a beginner or somebody who stretches a lot, these exercises will be very easy for you. And like I said, you will do this from the comfort of your bed and just get you a pillow, get comfortable, but please do not sleep. Just follow along with me. Hi, I'm Nathan, I'm your occupational therapist, and my goal is to help you be more consistent with your therapy at home. Stretching is an essential part of improving your mobility and overall well-being. It is especially important for seniors and those who are recovering from an illness and is trying to do their recovery program. Upon waking up, your muscles were inactive for several hours because you were sleeping, right? So stretching will improve your range of motion, improve circulation, and lubricate your joints. So please try to do your stretching every day. Even athletes stretch for several minutes before playing a game or even before practice. So what more for us ordinary people? We need to stretch to reduce uh, falls and reduce our risk of injuries when we're doing our everyday tasks. Enough talking, let's get started. But before I forget, there's a lot of you who have been watching me have not subscribed yet. So click on that subscribe button. And in order for my channel to grow and to reach more people, please uh, share this video. It will help me a lot so that I can continue making more videos to help more people, right? And so let's get started. Let's lie down on our bed. All right, the first thing that you need to do is to get rid of that blanket because that will make you too comfortable. You might fall asleep again. And the first exercise is going to be a knee hug. So just put your hands under your thigh like this and hug your knee. Bring it towards your chest. Hold it for about 20 to 30 seconds. And like I said, stretching is very important so that you can move better. And whatever the day brings to you, whatever difficulties or challenges you have, it will be easier, easier for you to conquer those, okay? So knee hug is the first exercise so that is about 20 to 30 seconds already let go and do the other side okay hold it for 20 to 30 seconds this is very important and this will help you with your back pain all right so we're stretching the back of our leg and our glutes or our buttocks this will relax our lower back okay and let go and that is your knee hug the next exercise is going to be a knee cross so when the next exercise is going to be the knee cross so bend one knee and pull it over to the opposite side put your hand straight out right there and hold it for about 20 to 30 seconds all right Again, this will stretch your lower back and your glutes. Hold it for about 20 to 30 seconds and slowly let go. Let's do the opposite side. Bend that knee and pull it to the opposite direction. All right. And bring the other arm straight, just like what we did a while ago with the opposite arm. Hold it for about 20 to 30 seconds. All right. Let's do 10 more seconds. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. After that, slowly let go and then lay straight on your back for about one minute. All right. So after one minute, let's do the child's pose. The child's pose is just like this one right here. Go on your belly and bring both legs under you and you're going to sit on your ankles if you cannot do this put a pillow under you like this and then stretch your arms out like so and then just relax your head on your bed this is a child's pose and this is very relaxing for your back and this stretches your back too all right 
If this is difficult, put another pillow here in front and then rest your head on top of it. All right, hold that for about 20 to 30 seconds. Let's do 10 more seconds, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and slowly get up, very slowly, because again, your muscles are still very stiff and it might rebound. After doing that, go back to your back, lie on your back again, and relax for one minute. And that is your child's pose. All right, so we are still on our back and we are going to now stretch the front part of our leg that is uh, close to our groin. So that is where your hip flexors are originating and it attaches to your lower leg. So we need to stretch that. Otherwise, it will pull your back and it will cause you a lot of back pain. So what you wanna do is get close to, your, to the edge of your bed, bend the opposite knee, all right? And then hang your leg, okay? You will feel a lot of stretch here and your butt, your buttocks might even contract. Just let go and relax. Hold it for about 20 seconds, okay? So keep it there for about 20 seconds. Let's do 10 more seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then bring that leg up. Rest for one minute. And then let's do the opposite side, okay? So stay there for another minute and then we'll do the opposite side. Pause this video if you need to. Right, so I'm getting up now. I'll show you the other side. So lie on your back, bend the opposite knee, right? And then hang the leg that you're going to stretch. You can keep it straight or bend it according to your comfort, okay? When you bend it back even more, you will feel more stretch to that area to your hip flexors. So I'm going to bend it some more just so to show you how it is done, okay? So let's stretch for about 10 more seconds, all right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Then slowly scoot over to the middle so you don't fall. Bring that leg up and then rest for one minute it is very important that you rest too to let your blood flow you will feel a little bit warmth to that area where you stretch so rest for one minute you will see a big difference when you do the stretch and then you rest okay for one minute and that is how you stretch your hip flexors so now we are going to sit up so sit up slow make sure that you don't hurt yourself it is so annoying when you're getting old because everything hurts, even though you were just sleeping. That's when you know that you're getting stiff, right? So slowly get up. We are now going to stretch our shoulder and our chest. We need to open up our chest in order for us to breathe better and our shoulders to bring back so that our posture is more upright. In order to do this, what you just need to do is to clasp your hands together like this and then bring it up as far as you can. All right, hold that for about 20 to 30 seconds. Now, if that is difficult for you, all you need to do is to just reach back. Just reach back like this, okay? Reach as far back as you can, and then you can also look up. This will further open up your chest and your shoulders, okay? Hold that for about 20 to 30 seconds. Again, it's very important to hold it for a longer period of time to get that stretch, okay? Hold it for about 20, 30 seconds. Let's do that for 10 more seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And that is how you open up your shoulder and your chest. And the last part that we need to stretch is our neck. So our neck has been in one position or two, depending on how much you move around when you sleep. You need to stretch it. More likely, when you sleep, your neck is also still flexed, right? Or bent like this. You need to do an 
looking up or stretching your neck back like that. To do that, all you have to do is to push your chin up to point towards the ceiling. Hold that for about 20 to 30 seconds, okay? That way. During the day, you are still bending your neck forward. I see this especially for my dad. Shout out to my dad. I see you and please try to do this exercise every day. I am begging you. And ev everybody whose neck is bent like this, you need to go the opposite direction. You need to have a good posture. So again, push your chin up slowly for 20 to 30 seconds. And then let go slowly as well. Okay? And then you have to stretch side to side. So just pull your head to the towards your shoulder. Try to bring your ear towards your shoulder. Hold it for about 20-30 seconds. Alright? And slowly let go and do the opposite side. 20 to 30 seconds. Alright? So I'm merely showing you those techniques. You can also pause just to follow along with me. And I forgot. This is where I'm going to do the attendance check. Type down below, flexible. So we are now flexible, right? We're flexible with our body. We're also flexible with our relationships with our family and friends, right? So stretching and the attendance check again is type down below flexible i know who's watching and who are following along and those who are not typing it down below you you did not do those stretches with me okay so again type down below flexible all right so those are the stretches that you can do every day especially upon waking up our muscles are very stiff our joints are stiff we need to lubricate them we need to stretch them in order for us to improve our range of motion especially for you seniors and those who are recovering from an illness and for those who know somebody who needs this video please share it to them and please click on that subscribe button okay so and if you have any questions suggestions or comments please type it down below any suggestions even on how i can make my videos better all right so type it down below in the comment section and don't forget the attendance check. Just type down below, flexible, okay? And just a reminder, consistency is the key and never give up. Until next time, paalam!